Hello everyone, this is Jory from Maywood Public Library. I hope everyone is safe and healthy right now. And today we are going to make an all natural makeup brush cleaner. So if you're thinking to yourself, when's the last time I washed my makeup brushes? The answer is you probably should have done it by now. So it's really important to always um, keep your makeup brushes clean because they do grow bacteria, they have the powder on them, and it will help them last longer. So the, um, what you're going to need today is one cup of distilled water. So I'm just using water from a water bottle. You're going to need half a cup of witch hazel. You're going to need one teaspoon of an oil. You could use almond oil, olive oil, argan oil. And then in my case, I'm using grapeseed oil. And then two teaspoons of Castile soap. And then a 16 ounce um, bottle, preferably one with the pump. I have two 10 ounce ones, so that's what I'll be using today. And then I'll have two different pumps for makeup cleaning. Okay, so in the case that you already have a, a bottle that's 16 ounces or larger, you can just put all the ingredients directly in. I don't have that, so I'm using a funnel to put into the um, spray bottle. And I already put everything into a mixing bowl. And I'm going to put that right in. Okay, so I'm shaking these up. Okay, so when you're ready to go ahead and wash your brushes, and I do have some examples since I had to put makeup on today. So um, first I need to get them wet. Usually I would just run these under the sink, but for reasons I'm just gonna dip them into water here. So just to get them wet. So usually I would just, you know, spray over the sink or something, but I already have the bowl in front of me that I had gotten them wet in. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray all of my brushes. Okay. I'm going to do that with all of them. So once you have the cleaner on, you wanna make sure that you kind of massage it in, kind of wash it out. And, or you could, if you have like a silicone mat, which a lot of people do, I don't have one, I should really get one though because I've heard that they're amazing. Then you go ahead and dab it on there while water is pouring. Okay, so now my secret for a way to get them to dry quicker is to get them to stand up. So Harry Potter um, cheese cutting board feels like a weird flex, but on the other side, I just put this here to protect the cutting board and I use elastic headbands to keep them in place. This way they're kind of dry straight down, which is good because they're dry a lot faster. Um, if you, you can use rubber, like regular of those like big rubber bands too, that would be fine. So I hope that this was helpful today. And if you have any questions about this or other crafts, you could go ahead and comment below, or you could email us at mpld at maywoodlibrary.org. Thank you.